Today, I'm going to talk to you about where to buy in South of Fifth. South of Fifth is one of those popular neighborhoods that people always ask me about when they're thinking about buying luxury real estate, especially in Miami Beach. South of Fifth is located on the very tip edge of the island of Miami Beach. Miami Beach is also in Miami Dade, but what a lot of people do not realize is that Miami Beach is also not Miami. Miami Beach and Miami are two different cities. South of Fifth is a neighborhood in Miami Beach. If you're searching for real estate, you won't find real estate by searching South of Fifth, Florida. You have to use Miami Beach. But what's even better is just to know the area of South of Fifth, which is from Fifth Street down to First Street and from the bay to the ocean. It's like a little triangle at the very edge of Miami Beach. And if you search for real estate using a map search, you'll get a much better result for the South of Fifth neighborhood. So today I'm going to talk to you about South of Fifth, where you may want to buy in South of Fifth, and just some details to know about this very special neighborhood. And I'm going to get started now. everyone, my name's Jamie Pretzi. I'm a real estate agent in Miami-Dade and Broward Counties. I work with my husband, Ogden Pretzi, and our team. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another update. We do put out new videos every week. Also use the link in our information box and download our free relocation guide. Also in the description box or information box, you can find all of our contact information. So feel free to give me a call, text or email me. Whatever works best for you is fine by us. All right, let's get to it. So as I mentioned in real estate, it's always about location and the location of South of Fifth makes it a very special neighborhood. It's actually a very small area from Fifth Street to First Street, from the ocean to the bay on Miami Beach. And South of Fifth is a neighborhood in South Beach in Miami Beach. The South Beach area of Miami Beach is from about 23rd Street all the way down to 1st Street. So South of Fifth is in South Beach. However, South of Fifth is a very specific area in South Beach, which is just that little triangle area from 5th Street down to the tip edge of Government Cut. So what makes South of Fifth really nice is a lot of the properties in that area have been built as super luxury condominium buildings. There are a lot of high rise buildings in South of Fifth. You will also find some of the newer, brand new, modern boutique style buildings, the luxury buildings in South of Fifth. And then there's also some older properties that have been there forever, you know, since the 50s or the 60s or maybe even older. And then you have some buildings that may have been built, you know, in the 80s and in the 90s and in the 2000s that are also located there. A lot of the properties in South of Fifth, they are a little bit more expensive than some other parts of Miami Beach. And it's just because of the location of these areas and the fact that it's really surrounded by a lot of luxury properties. A lot of the properties the super luxury properties, the high rises in South of Fifth are located on waterfront properties. For example, mm -hmm. Continuum 1 and 2, they are located right off of the ocean. Apogee is right off of Government Cut. Murano at Portofino is right along Government Cut mm -hmm. and Biscayne Bay. And then you also have Icon, Murano Grande, and then Yacht Club. They are also on Biscayne Bay and right next to the mm -hmm. Miami Beach Marina. That's what makes a lot of these properties super special. In addition to that, these high-rise luxury buildings, they have incredible views. And the pricing in these buildings really depends on first the building because every single building carries its own brand and pricing. They also have their own services and amenities. For example, Continuum is just top top because it's located right on the ocean. The services and the grounds of this building are spectacular. They have tennis courts. They have an open air restaurant. They have a 
a several story gym. There's also many different uh, security services throughout the building and on the grounds. The grounds of this two buildings are just impeccable. And then they also have oceanfront service with chair and towel and umbrella service on the beach. So, I mean, that's a fairly spectacular uh, service and amenity package to have in a building. Of course, with that will come a bit of a higher maintenance fee, but those types of services you can expect and in those types of buildings a bit higher maintenance fee. And then you have other buildings like Apogee. Apogee is also a top of the line building in terms of uh, pricing. And then of course Murano, Murano at Portofino, and then Icon and the Yacht Club. So if we're looking at the pricing per square foot, I just always like to give people a range so you can kind of know what to expect. So in South of Fifth, if we're looking at the properties that are along the waterfront areas, the high rise waterfront properties and we average around what has sold over the last six months the price per square foot is around 1950 per square foot however if i take the buildings that are just along south point drive and i average those together in the super high rise buildings for example continuum apogee and murano at portofino the pricing is around 3000 per square foot but just know there can be highs and there can be lows off of those numbers because that's just everything averaged together some of these buildings for example apogee can be a lot more and especially in continuum as well so and again the you know it depends on the build out of the property it also depends on the location and you know which building we're talking about but i just wanted to give you an idea about the pricing for these types of buildings so that you know what to expect there's a lot to discuss about that but if you are interested in south of fifth many people are very interested in these high-rise luxury buildings that have a lot of services and amenities another option could be still a luxury product but maybe you want to live in a little bit smaller building so sometimes i have people who will sell a property in these super high-rise buildings because they're like listen it's just too busy for us uh, there are too many people coming and going we still want to live in south of fifth but we want to live in a smaller building and we want a bit more privacy so they focus on buildings like marea ocean one louver house 300 collins and smaller boutique style buildings and still in south of fifth still a luxury product still newer buildings which is great but just a little bit smaller fewer services and amenities so of course the maintenance will be a little bit less too which is a plus so just a little bit smaller place with fewer people coming in and out every single day and in these types of buildings you can find on average based on closed sales over the last six months property selling for around 1770 per square foot Again, you can always find something a little bit higher that's selling or a little bit lower, but just to kind of give you an average based on these types of products about what has sold over the last six months. And then another option could be one of the older buildings throughout the city. And they can still buy in a really nice uh, luxury building, for example, in Cosmopolitan or maybe the Courts or one of the other smaller like Absolute Lofts or Jefferson Condos. There are a lot of other buildings throughout South of Fifth, they're a little bit older. Maybe they were built in the 2000s, but they can still be really nice properties. And these properties, they typically sell at around 800 per square foot. Again, always high and low. I always have to say that because I don't want everyone to just be like, okay, everything's 800 a square foot. But just to give you an average so you know what to expect if you're looking for real estate in that area. Some people, they just don't want to spend 3,000 a square foot or more. So some of these smaller, older buildings may be a better fit. And if the building is you know, well taken care of and in good shape, obviously you can finish out the interior if it's not as you like a lot of people renovate their properties anyway so that's a very common thing that people do if you're looking for something more turnkey maybe you want to do the second option buy in a little bit smaller building not a super high rise but everything is brand new so there are a lot of options and then from there there are even some older buildings if you're more on a fixed budget but you just want to be in south of fifth there are a lot of options in those older buildings as well throughout south of fifth the best thing about south of 
5th is you have South Point Park. There's a gorgeous park. They spent over $20 million renovating that park several years ago. You have the beach. You have the Miami Beach Marina. And there are a lot of nice restaurants. For example, Prime 112 is in this area. Also, the old establishment of Joe's Stone Crab is in this neighborhood. And there's just a lot to know about the South of Fifth area. Another great thing about South of Fifth is the location because it is located right off of South of Fifth. The bridge that connects everything to downtown Miami and Brickell is right off of that Fifth Street. It goes into downtown Miami and also Brickell. And then also you have a quick drive once it turns into the highway and you can go right across over to the Miami International Airport. And then, of course, you can get to a lot of areas throughout the city and then other areas in Miami Beach from south of 5th relatively quick. Again, we do have traffic. You know, we are a very busy city, and if you hit that bridge during rush hour, you'll be waiting. But generally speaking, south of 5th is a great area to get around other parts of the city fairly quickly when you need to run and do something. So I just think it's a great area. I think it's a really important area to consider if you are thinking about buying luxury real estate in the city. It is one of the prime neighborhoods within Miami-Dade County. It is one of the most expensive areas in the city, so just keep that in mind. And that's really because of the location and the type of luxury products that have been built in that neighborhood over the years. They have a very strong neighborhood association over there, so people are very involved in the in that neighborhood and throughout the city, so that's good to know. All right, so I think that's good for today. I think this covers some information about where to buy in South of Fifth. I hope I've helped answer some questions for you if you were thinking about buying in that neighborhood. Also, don't forget to check out one of our other videos that I did about top five neighborhoods in Miami. I think you'll find that super helpful as well. My name is Jamie Pretzi. This is my husband, Ogden Pretzi. You can find us online on Instagram at the Pretzies. Feel free to reach out and give us a call so we can start a conversation with you about the areas, about what neighborhood may be a good fit for you and just help guide you through the process. There's a lot to know about buying real estate here. So it doesn't matter if you're six months out, a year out, or if you have to buy next week, we are here to help you make a smooth move to our city. I hope you found this video helpful and we will see you soon.